Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how to download the data files into our virtual desktop environment. In order to complete the work from the textbook and the homework, we need to have those data files not just on our device but within our virtual desktop. So you can see on my screen that I'm on my personal laptop, I've already launched Google Chrome, I've logged into Blackboard, and I've advanced to our class. In addition, I've already logged in to my virtual desktop. So I have that displayed here on the screen. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Inside of my virtual desktop, I need to launch another web browser and log into Blackboard. So just to keep it clear in my mind, I'm gonna use a different web browser. I'm gonna use Firefox. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Firefox web browser in my virtual desktop. And I know that using my virtual desktop is slower than just using my own device. So I'll be patient and let that web browser load. Oh, somehow it didn't close right. So let's see, let's see if I can get it going here. Should not normally get an error message. Okay, it should just launch the web browser. Um, once that gets going, here we go. Once that gets going, then as I mentioned, you need to log in to Blackboard again. And it seems kind of funny, but it's true. We're sort of diving down inside of here. So I'm gonna click on current students, and then I'm gonna go down and find the link to Blackboard. I'm gonna go ahead and get logged in, and I'm gonna to advance to our course's Blackboard site, and then we'll pick it up from there. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, here we are back again. Now, as a reminder, I'm in on my personal laptop, I'm logged into Blackboard. Inside of Blackboard, I've advanced to my virtual desktop. Inside of my virtual desktop, I logged into Blackboard again. And you can sort of see that here. So I'm gonna make this window a little bit smaller. Notice that I'm inside my virtual desktop with, and then I'm I'm in my web browser and logged into Blackboard. Okay, now I'm ready to go. So at the left-hand side, let me get that back open again. Oops, sorry, that's my virtual desktop, which I don't need to have open. There it is. In Blackboard, um, let me see. In Blackboard, if I can get this going again. There it is. I need to click on, at the left-hand side, I, ne I need to click on data files. And then I need to download those data files to my virtual desktop. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, where it says student data files, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose save link as. That'll bring up the file manager for my virtual desktop. So here at the left, I'm gonna click desktop and then I'm just gonna change the name a little bit so that I know that it's going to the right spot inside my virtual desktop. So I'm gonna say student data files, um, virtual desktop copy. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And there they are, lickety split, just like that. I can now minimize down this web browser, the one that's in my virtual desktop. And here they are, look at student data files, virtual desktop. Those are the ones I just downloaded. Now, when you download your data files, they come to you in a zipped or compressed state. So you have to unzip them. It's kind of like taking all of your stuff on vacation. You put it in a suitcase and zip it up. And now we need to unzip that suitcase. And it's fairly straightforward. You can double click the zipped folder. And here under the name where it says extract, I'm going to click. Oh, actually, um, yeah, I'm going to click that icon there. And then I'm going to click extract all. Now I have to choose a destination where I want the files to be extracted to, so I'll click Browse. Again, I'm gonna choose Desktop, and I'm gonna do a new folder, and I'm gonna say Student Data Files Unzipped. All right, that's the folder I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna double click that and say Select Folder. Then I have to click Extract, and it'll get to work. This, this will make all of the files usable. The zipped files, you can view them and they kind of look normal, but you can't really use them in the right way. So you do have to unzip your data files before you begin on any of the textbook work and before you begin on any of the homework. So do this right away. 
And then if you want, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. If you want, you can double check. There's my unzipped version. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the zipped version. I don't need two copies. So I'm going to click, hold, and drag that one to my recycle bin so that I don't get confused about it. Here's my student data files. I'm ready to go. That's all I need. If you have any trouble with downloading your data files to your virtual desktop, please email your instructor right away.